I must be in the minority, it seems like, but I don't feel like the shotguns in Modern Warfare 2 suck. Yet I do frequently see people mention that they do on YouTube, on Reddit, Twitter, just kind of all over the place. It is actually infuriating trying to use shotguns in Modern Warfare 2. They are terrible. The freaking hit my, oh my god, the hit markers! And I get it. They can be hit marker machines at times, but there are ways to help to mitigate it. So with today's video, I want to go over five helpful tips or ideas on how to help improve your shotgun, how to make it get less hit markers, and how to make your shotgun, most importantly, feel more consistent. If you guys are frequent visitors to my channel, some of these are going to sound very familiar. You'll probably recognize many of them. You guys are the vaqueros, but you also may be completely new here, in which case, hi, I'm Gumi. I like shotguns. I cover them in COD, and maybe soon you'll be a vaquero too. With that being said though, let's go ahead and get right into my first major tip for you guys on how to get your shotguns to work better. I've said it many times before and I'm going to say it again, but that is aim down sights, aim down sights, aim down sights. I know many of you guys are probably thinking, I shouldn't have to aim a shotgun. Well, shotguns in Modern Warfare 2022 don't work like that. If you plan on just hip firing on all your engagements, you might as well throw your gun at the enemy because unless you're about 5 meters away, it's just not going to work. Unless you use a certain build I've recommended in my other videos, cough cough, more on that later. But the key with these shotguns really to make the most consistent is aiming. I know it may be a hard pill to swallow, but that's how they generally work best. The reason for that is a combination of how the damage is done in-game per pellet and the fact that pellet spread tightens when you aim magically it's been a thing in cod for a while of course now i did make a video on ranking the shotguns in the game and i did put the expert at 12 at the top and i kind of stand by that decision the big reason is when i use it i constantly aim down sights and out to 10 meters i get pretty consistent one shot kills because of it now it's not 100 percent of the time of course there's still going to be some hit markers but man it changes the gun for the better now i hear you you don't want to have to aim down sights all the time and the good news is that there are some ways to help if you don't want to to make your gun more consistent when hit firing which i'll go into soon in other tips but the next tip involves on how to build your shotgun the right way this next tip is piggybacking off of the first tip where aiming is really great for helping your shotgun be more consistent. When you see people get out a shotgun glass, you probably see a few attachments that try to help maximize range overall. They slap on the biggest barrel they can, the biggest suppressor for range, and call it a day. And while that's nice and there's definitely a place for that, the problem with that approach is it seriously hurts your aim down sight speed even with all the other attachments to help it. And as you've heard from the first tip, aiming is really important. Having a slow aim down sight speed in this game, especially for someone who actually moves around and doesn't just sit around watching angles, which this tip probably isn't going to help you if you're that kind of camping player because you can just use whatever you want. Really, it doesn't really matter. But if you move around, you need to have a snappier aim down sight speed. What tends to happen is the following scenario. You're walking around the map, all is well, and suddenly a random sweat jumps right into you and they're about 10 meters away. Even though that's totally shotgun range and you can one shot kill them, you have to aim down sights and get your gun up first and land those pellets on top target but when you kit for range you can't even get your gun up quick enough by that point and then you've already been killed twice over with the guy who has a fennec 10 meters away what happens to me when i use heavy slow build is i get caught with my pants down constantly in harder lobbies trying to aim and shoot at the same time and because the aim down sight speed is so slow i can't get my pellets to tighten enough just to have the majority hit the player and kill them so a few pellets connect and the rest just miss and i die so you can see why it isn't always good to just go for range and more range it's just really not ideal. I have found the most success by skipping the barrel of a shotgun entirely, sticking a lightweight choke on the gun, like the Bryson choke, which is the best choke for aim down sight spread, and kitting it out for aim down sight speed. It may sound counterintuitive, but hear me out. You can make some insanely fast aim down sights built with these shotguns, and all of the guns already have great range. The Bryson 800 and 890 have 13 and 12 meter one shot kills respectively, the Lockwood's about 14, Expedite's about 10, and you can get those same ranges, but you you have a much more consistent one-shot kill because of your snappy aim down sight speed. If you do insist on having a big barrel, be prepared to pre-aim more and get your gun up before engagements, but if you have it before, I highly encourage you guys to try prioritizing aim down sight speed and maybe even sprint to fire speed over range, and you can see that you can get your gun up quicker in engagements, the enemy may land a shot or two, but boom, you got your snappy aim, and you can land those pellets perfectly. Give it a try, I promise it's much better than it sounds. This next tip is for those of you who like to hit fire. In my experience, I have found that Dragon's Breath is really great for making your shotgun a lot more consistent 
up close for hip firing and getting one shot kills. It's something I checked out briefly in private matches and I made some videos on it and I found that I was constantly getting more one shots when hip firing compared to regular buckshot even when I was just on point even when I was center mass with buckshot I just wouldn't get the one shot kill but with dragon's breath I could. The big trade off though and why you probably have not had as much success with dragon's breath is largely and likely because the range reduction from dragon's breath. Dragon's breath on average kills your range by about 50% for one shot kills and I mean it is ridiculous ridiculous how bad it hurts. It takes that 13 meter one shot range on the Bryson 800 and it brings it down to 6.6 .6 meters. That is a big oof. The big trade off to those nice hip fire one shots is you got to be way close now. But because of that and because we're hip firing more, you can use that big barrel and that big suppressor you always wanted to use. It still won't be getting 13 meter one shot kills, but it helps and it needs all the range boosting it can get. So if you're adamant about not aiming down sights and you just want more consistency, try Dragon's Breath, but remember that you have to get very close, like a lot closer than you might think to actually get it to be consistent. So while you're gonna be a little weird at range, up close, you're gonna be a lot more deadly. I promise you it works really well. And yeah, you can maybe throw in some aim down sides kills here and there, but sorry, I just had to throw that in. But anyway, let's move on to the next tip. Again, kind of piggybacking off of last tip, this is in regards to being more about hip firing and making it more consistent, then I need to introduce you to the hip fire build I've seen quite a bit of people try and really seem to swear by it now. I made an entire video for it going over each shotgun individually, so check that out if you want some serious detail. But to give you the rundown, the idea is to make a class that has such a tight hip fire spread that you can get some serious one tap potential consistently and at really long ranges so long as you can hip fire well. It's more difficult than it sounds to be honest honest, but my god, it is devastating in the right hands when you get good with it. The secret is to use the biggest barrel, the Bryson choke for the Bryson and Expedite, and then for the Lockwood use the Series 12 choke, the point G3P laser, the sawed off stock mod, and the secret is any of the grips with a handle on it in the underbarrel grip category. My go-to is, I think it's the VX Pineapple, because most people have it unlocked and it's readily available. Tune that grip for hip fire accuracy and bam, you got the tightest spread and you got something so tight that even Tuco would be proud. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah. It's high risk, high reward, and you gotta be good with your hip firing, but if you got the aim for it, just practice with it and I promise it'll amaze you how good it can truly be. Now, in my opinion, slugs don't often get enough love, and I'm here to tell you that if you want consistent one-shots, maybe you should try slugs. I mean, yeah, the biggest thing about this is, well, your shotgun is more of a rifle now. It's sort of a mini marksman rifle, really. The thing about slugs is that even though they're harder to use and they're difficult to use, you can get pretty decent one-shot kills with them and consistent ones. Slugs tend to have a one-shot kill range for stomach at a certain distance, and then for chest out to a larger distance, and then for head out to an even more ridiculous distance. The Brysons are pretty solid, and the Lockwood, which has an infinite range one-shot headshot as well, but they're tough to use because of the slower muzzle velocity they have, the weird bloom where they don't always go where you aim at longer ranges, and just overall difficulty in use. But hitting your shots will generally net you a one-shot kill. You just gotta, you know, hit your shot. I found it the best whenever I was playing in a little bit closer to shotgun range, just a little bit further out, not trying to go for marksman rifle kills, but just go for shotgun kills that are just a little bit further out. That is really, in my opinion, the sweet spot to using slugs. As for explosive slugs, they usually feel better overall, but bomb squad negates the one shot kill for them so i don't recommend them as much because any wise player is just going to equip it against you and just ruin your day so generally i say go with normal slugs and just feel the lobby out if you want to switch i know this is probably a weird tip but trust me slugs are good just give them a chance they just take practice and hey the enemy can't really get mad at you for using slugs i mean it's like a crappy sniper rifle right and that is just about going to do it for the tips guys that's really all i had to help you guys get your consistent one shot kills I know you're still going to get hit markers. It's not going to completely eliminate them, despite the kind of clickbaity title. That's just how YouTube works. But it is still going to be a little bit difficult at times. But these tips have greatly reduced my hit markers. And I promise you, they will help you too. Just make sure to actually follow some of them and actually try some of these builds out because they can get ridiculously good. And I think you'll have a lot of fun with them too. I know shotguns are just a little bit wonky at times, but you've got to aim. That's the really important thing is you just really got to aim. That comes down to probably the biggest tip overall. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think these tips are helpful? Do you have any other tips for any other type of shotgun players out there who are looking to get better at getting some buckshot on people's faces? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next shotgun video.